All right, welcome to my channel. Um, today is gonna be an exciting video because I just bought a house. You can probably hear the echo, but yeah, so I am going to tag on all of the footage over the past month of me doing the entire process of home owning, um, of buying a house, finding a house, etc. And today was actually closing day, so I'm gonna have vlogs, moving vlogs, empty house tour, all that good stuff. So make sure that you're subscribed, make sure that your notifications are on. But yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show the video of me buying a home. All right, hey guys, just got my Starbucks. This is gonna be like the first little bit of, I don't really like know how I'm gonna put all this together, but I wanted to document the entire process, so I didn't wanna leave anything out. Um, so today is January 6th, and yesterday, so okay, rewind. I've always looked at like houses um, around like where I live, but I have been honestly so scared of commitment and like putting roots down somewhere because I just, you guys know that I like love the West and everything like that. But after some prayer and just like consideration and like thoughts, like thinking things through, obviously the middle of a pandemic is not really a time that I want to move cross country. Um, it just is not gonna be right now what I want to do. So I am starting the process. This has all happened like super duper fast, but I just kind of like prayed like, Lord, if this is not your will, like put a stop to something, like stop something, feel at peace with everything that has been moving forward. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to stop rambling because it's just like, whatever. Um, but basically I like, it was really random, um, like a thought a couple days ago of starting to look at houses. Went ahead yesterday and I talked to a lender, so I'm gonna like talk, like sit more in depth of like the whole process of buying a house, but basically the first thing that you should probably do is get pre-approved for a loan to buy a house because if you like find a house and you're not even pre-approved, it's gonna take like just a whole lot longer. All of that to say, yesterday I got in contact with the lender and and kind of like discussed some numbers and all this other stuff and so he told me to go ahead and put in an application and he was like it could take up to um, like two days to get pre-approved they run like your credit score and all this other stuff but he was like I don't foresee there being any problems just based on what you've told me and so yesterday um, around 11 a.m. I submitted my application I went ahead and filled out my application and last night he emailed me back and said that that I was pre-approved for my loan. Um, like a disclaimer, I don't have a house that I um, am like wanting right now. Like there's no house that I um, am like have my sight set on, but like I said, I just wanted to get pre-approved to start the process. Um, I have a realtor that I have been babysitting for, for like six years now. And um, so he is gonna help me find a house that I like. I'm super excited to get in and call him this morning, the lender, not the um, realtor, and see where I can go from now. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys because I don't wanna like leave parts out. I want this to be like a whole documentation thing that I can look back on when I'm like 87 years old and see the first time that I bought a house. So So today is January 12th and I'm actually about to leave my um, current house and I am going to view a property. It just went up on the market like a yesterday night. Now we are going to view it. So I've got to be there in like 15 minutes. Um, it seems really cute online, but it may be too close in proximity to something that is not going to make it um, all that, you know, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. So. Okay. So last house I went to, I forgot to like update you guys, but it was a no. It was all around a no. It was right next to two really busy roads and next to a gas station. And that's just not somewhere I want to live. So, so I'm going to look right now at another house. Um, it's like a few days later and yeah, so I'm excited. The pictures for this one look so stinking cute. So I really hope that I end up liking it.
y'all i just found a house that i absolutely freaking love so so much like so 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 much and i just got off the phone with my realtor and we are about to make an offer on it i'm trying not to get my hopes up because obviously basically we just think that there's going to be like a lot of cash offers that are going to beat us out because this is like a really nice house it's in a nice area it's like kind of an upcoming area and it's just like really nice so um that may happen about to send me over stuff that i have to sign on but i'm so it's so stinking cute obviously there's like a couple things that i would like to change um i just really like it i think it's so freaking cute so today is the 22nd of january and i wanted to do a quick little update on the housing situation so i haven't vlogged about it in a second like in a week because i've been distraught not really I just have forgotten but and it ended up being a really long weekend last week in regards to the house because we um put an offer said we were gonna go until 6 p.m to get the offer to like decide on the offer and then they sent us like um a mass email or whatever and was basically just like there's multiple people who are putting offers on this house and i was kind of like i kind of gave up hope at that point and they were like so we're going to leave it open for essentially like another day until 10 p.m and so we found out that i came in second for the house with an offer that was almost identical to mine so not really sure where you know i came like lacking but um yeah so i didn't get that house and i was pretty bummed because i really liked that house but it obviously wasn't meant to be not the house god wants me in so whatever um right now the market's pretty slow in regards to things coming up i'm going to view a house today at 4 15 and then i'm also going to view another house after that um and so the first one that i'm viewing i just kind of it's gonna be a lot of renovations if I do it and then the second one I really really like um, but it's a little bit uh, more expensive than the other one so Alright, so I just wanted to do a little house update for you guys. I can't remember the last time what I said. So basically, I was on my way to go, the last time I vlogged, I was on my way to go view two different houses. I think it was like about a week ago, and um, they were just big no's. There was a lot of large trees um, in, at both of them that we looked at. One of them was completely not how it was like how it was pictured and staged on the website was completely not what we actually went and saw so whoever like did the staging and photography for those people deserves a freaking award because they definitely fooled us but basically the trees were going to cost a lot neither well okay the first time we went to i wouldn't would have needed to do a lot of renovations which i was not completely opposed to because the price of it um it just wouldn't have been that bad and my realtor like knows people and it could be done very quickly but then we went into the backyard and there was a humongous tree and trees can be so like damaging and um and also like it was going to cost thousands of dollars to like extract the tree so i just ended up saying no to that one then the next one we went to was not like it was it was a very old home with very cheap renovations um a lot of just trying to like disguise things so it was a no also the memphis market right now is insane like things will go up online and by like the middle of the day end of the day or the next day they are already listed as contingent and so especially because there's like a few neighborhoods that are like really pop in right now and they're just like good places to invest and so when a house goes up on that um it is like you have just a second to get it otherwise so i am going to look at a house tomorrow that's a little bit over my price range but everything is renovated already so i wouldn't necessarily have to i'm not getting my hopes up because I'm just not um i'm sure a lot of people will be interested in this home because it's really nice like i said it's a little bit over my price range but in the long scheme like grand scheme of these things the few like ten thousand dollars that it's over is not going to make that much of a deal in my mortgage so yeah so anyways just wanted to keep you updated okay guys i've not gotten to pick up my camera and the way that this ha situation happened i didn't record it because i suck quite 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 frankly 
rewind back to January 30th and I was, you guys know I have a small group that I lead of 11th grade girls and we were having this day and we were going to be at the church all day. It was kind of like, it's like a church weekend but condensed because COVID. So anyways, more of a story, like a church event something and um, I was going to be there all day. The, day, the night before that, um, I ended up sending a link to my realtor to a home that had just gone up on the market and it was literally tipping my price point. So I honestly was not like, I had very low hopes for it. So I sent it to him and he responds back with, showing start tomorrow, what time are you free? In which I responded with, well, I'm not really, but if you can get me the earliest showing, I will make it work. So I text the youth pastor and all this stuff. I'm like, listen, I'm gonna be late, but I'm gonna be there. I'll be here by this time, but I have to go do something, blah, blah. So Saturday morning arrives and I have to go quickly to this home to see it and then be at the church. So I'm going to be honest, the way there I prayed, I said, God, if this is my house, make it abundantly clear. Or if it is not, make it abundantly clear. My emotions with this house hunt have been all over the place. Honestly, had come to the point where I just didn't think I was going to get a house this season. Um, and whatever, the Memphis market has been insane and houses go like that. It is the freaking seller's world. And yeah. So anyways, I get to this house and it is just so beautiful. It's beautiful. It's in a cute little neighborhood. It was the neighborhood that I have been wanting this whole time. And yeah, so whatever, super cute. So I walk in, y'all, the kitchen, it captured me. It captured me. It is so beautiful. Sorry if you can hear my dogs fighting because they just think it's playtime all the time. But um, yeah, so it was a beautiful kitchen and I was obsessed. So I actually went with my realtor's assistant because my realtor was out of town. So I text him and I'm like, I love the house. And I, it was, like I said, it was literally about to be like out of my budget at this point, but it was beautiful. It was renovated. And I honestly had, I loved it, but I didn't get my hopes up because the last one that I put an offer on, I had the same feelings and there were so many people, of course, there's like no houses. So then a beautiful house comes on the market. Everyone's going to put an offer on it. But I was like, okay. So I said, I love it. Let's write up an offer. And honestly, I'm going to be honest. I didn't think I was going to get it. I don't really think my realtor thought I was going to get it, but we were just like, what the heck? So we did it. I leave there. I'm in a hurry, blah, blah, blah. I don't really think much of it because I figured that she was going to leave it open. The person who put it on the market was going to leave it open, do the same thing where they leave it open for 24 hours, take the highest offer first blah blah I knew that people be looking at it all day I get a call within like an hour of being at church my realtor says that she's entertaining my offer I was the first one to put an offer on it and if I could put money down in earnest money that she would cancel all y'all listen she would cancel all 28 of the showings after me 28 28 people were about to come and probably put offers because this house is beautiful 28 so I said, uh, absolutely, uh, I'll give you the money right now. Um, so we did that and she accepted my offer and y'all, I have a freaking house. I have a house, 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 I have a house. It all happened so freaking quickly. I honestly like didn't really understand what was happening. Um, it was moving really fast. I was waiting on something to go wrong, quite honestly. Um, we gave her the offer with contingency upon inspection, just meaning that like if something went wrong in the inspection, I could pull out and get my earnest money back. But if not, it was mine. So then the following day as the inspection came back, it came back relatively clean. There's like some minor repairs that we're gonna get figured out. And then I just got my house appraised last week. Um, and uh, the whole loan situation, I had to give just about every piece of document that I own um, related to my funds, my bank, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna probably go more into detail about this whole process because it has been crazy and I've been doing it on my own. I haven't had like my parents help or like anybody truthfully. It's just been like me and my realtor and then obviously like the million people that go into buying a home. It is February 11th, like I said, and my closing date is set for March 3rd. I have no idea when you guys are seeing this video because you know, I just like wait for things to go wrong. So I am gonna be like super, super hesitant about posting this, but y'all, I cannot wait to get in it. I can't 
can't wait to make videos in it. I can't wait to make an empty house tour. It is just so freaking awesome. I'm in the process of buying home insurance and I think that may be the last like me step that I have to take for a second. But um, yeah, it's so beautiful y'all. I love it so much and it just like worked out so freaking well and so fast honestly. Everybody that I like tell is like very shocked that my closing date came so soon. Um, so yeah, I have like roughly 20 days until closing which sorry. but yeah i just wanted to give you guys like a little update on my house because i have one i have a house like me like i have like i have my own house that's so gonna be in my name and my name only and it's my house it's mine yeah guys it is officially the day that i am closing on my house Okay, so it is eight o'clock. Um, I set an appointment with the like place that you go and sign the attorney place, whatever, um, for eight thirty. And so yeah, I'm gonna stop by Starbucks, obviously. And yeah, so I can't believe it's here. I'm actually kind of confused on a few things um, with like the money wiring system. Um, but yeah, so I'm so freaking excited. I like don't even know what to do. So. All right, so I just left the bank and got off the phone with people, making sure that the money gets wired. So it should be a few hours before I get the keys to my home. So I just wanted to close out this little vlog of the compilation of me just getting this home and the whole process. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video. Make sure to hit the notifications button because the next couple of vlogs are going to be so fun, and I can't wait. All right, I'll see you guys later.